Let's check out the workout features in full gaze. We'll pick a right, in this case, part of the Ironman World Championship course. And here's the course with its elevation profile. Where instead of riding that profile, we'll add a workout. You can choose from lots of the most popular places to do your training, training peaks, today's plan, final surge, and try dot, or you can upload your own files. We've picked one, and here it is. So that's the kind of workout that we're gonna to do today instead of riding the terrain. And in terms of basic setup, that's all we need to do. We're just going to press go. Now three minutes, 100 watts. That was Bernard telling us how hard to go. You can turn him on and off in settings. You can either not have those messages show up at all or not have the sound turn up. And now we're off on the road doing a workout. The workout will go at the speed the ride was filmed. So in the case of the Ironman courses, that's pretty fast. It's faster than anyone can physically ride which lets you cover a lot of course per hour. What that ends up doing though, is that you end up being credited with more miles than you actually did. So the way full gaze works now is when you're doing a workout, it plays everything in real time. So that if you're doing five minute efforts with five minute recoveries, they are five minutes on and off. And the video plays at a speed that makes sense. But if it was a very easy session, and you'll see this later on, when you finish the session, we'll credit you with the distance you would have done on the course for the effort you put in. So as you're seeing, just by dropping in a workout file, full gas will behave as you would expect it to. But let's have a look at settings for a moment and get a deeper understanding of exactly how you can configure full gas for your workouts. To configure workout settings, click the cog on the top right hand corner and go into settings. And from there, you want to select workout settings. First thing to do is adjust your FTP. Obviously that's way too low for me, but you need to make sure you've got the correct one in there. From there, erg mode, apply that to all the workouts. Full guys will do that anyway. I would just leave it ticked. Hide grade chart in workouts means you've got an option to keep the screen nice and clean. That's how I tend to do my workouts is just remove the elevation profile. It's a choice, tick it on or off. Increment lap on state change is fancy wording for make full gas upload and split it out into intervals so you can just click on each lap to see what your recoveries and your hard efforts look like. I would always leave that ticked on. And the same for distance based on effort. That's in our most recent update. And that makes sure that you end up doing the distance you would have done for the effort you put in. And last of all, allow reactive mode for workouts. I would not touch that unless you know exactly what you're doing. That's incredibly useful for erg mode driven time trial pacing strategies. Apart from that, all it's gonna do is make your life a misery because you're gonna take way longer to do these sessions than you were expecting. When you're riding, you can make changes too. By clicking the cog on the top right hand corner, you can adjust your FTP while you're riding. So if the effort is too hard or too easy, you can adjust accordingly. There's different displays you can use. So here's the bike heads up computer view. You can adjust that by clicking on the button on the bottom right. My personal preference is the one we've been using for the rest of this demo, which shows you a big clear screen there. And if you're using other sensors like a core body temperature sensor or a MOXIE muscle oxygen sensor, that data shows up there. There's also a map here and you can change the type of view you have in that map from satellite view to a map. You can also take screenshots. That can be quite handy for seeing how you were tracking over time. Something else you can do on all versions of Fullgaz except Apple TV is you can skip from effort to effort. So if you don't need to warm up for as long or you've recovered enough before you want to do your next effort, press the button on the bottom right and Fullgaz will jump across to the next effort. You can keep pressing that as often as you like. We're going to end the ride now. And the data we're going to upload here, to, in this case to Training Peaks, shows the distance I would have covered if I was tapping along really gently for half an hour, so 12 kilometres, instead of the speed the motorbike that filmed the course would have covered. So that's now uploaded to Training Peaks. In this case, we're looking at an actual session I've written in. And you'll see here that we've just got the workout data. There's no map anymore. And by doing that, that's how we've been able to calculate your real speed versus actual speed and allow you to pick a video that's shorter than the workout because the workout could just loop again. So by removing the GPS points from how we calculate things, it lets us give you the experience that you need regardless of the video that you chose. And that's how workouts work from start to finish with settings. I hope you enjoy it.